Guys, in today's video, I want to go over the difference between a cash cup player and an FNCS player and how you can transition from being a low level cash cup player in order to be a high level FNCS qualifier. Now guys, I'm going to be covering the different play styles for FNCS and for cash cups and how you guys can make the transition. And I think you guys really benefit from this video, especially if you're more of a mediocre level competitive player that has been seeing some success in cash cups, but not as much in FNCS, how you can kind of transition the skills over in order to start performing in both tournaments, depending on your play style. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video if you guys do want to get all of the information. Let's hop right into it. So guys, to start off, I want to go over the cash cup play style. This is going to be for cash cup players that are doing well in cash cups, sometimes players that are doing worse, and overall the general consensus for how players in Fortnite competitive are playing in these cash cups. This can be solos, duos, this applies to pretty much every single game mode, all these different things will be very important. So to start off guys, cash cup players oftentimes are lower tier players. The reason I say this is because in order to play cash cups, you don't really need to have any required impressive rank. All you really need to do is just play Fortnite and then cash cups are available to you. To be fair, you do need to be at least gold one, which is actually a very reasonable rank to achieve. A lot of lower level players aren't going to be able to get gold one because they just started playing Fortnite or they're not really good at all. However, if you're basically good at basic building, basic editing, trying to get at least five six kill wins occasionally if you guys are able to do that you will get gold one absolutely no problem so obviously since there are lower tier players in these cash cups the cash cups are tend to be taken a little bit less seriously obviously because of the low players but of course because of the low prize pool as well the prize pool of fncs in comparison to the overall cash cup prize pool is ridiculously different FNCS has a much larger prize pool, it's a bigger tournament, your name gets out there way more. If you won the week 2 duo cash cup versus winning the FNCS of the season, you're going to be a much bigger player if you won the FNCS. Now of course guys, this means that there are going to be more W here's, more players taking risk, more players doing risky plays in terms of rotation, Overall, the way that they play the game is definitely going to be more on edge. This means that the lobbies aren't going to be as stacked and it's more likely that you guys are going to have to take more fights in these cash cups. As an add-on to this, there's going to be a lot of players hot dropping and experimenting with different drop spots as well. The reason I say that is because oftentimes, let's say you're not doing well in a cash cup or you just genuinely don't know where to land and you saw that the cash cup was on and you decided you want to play it, you're really just going to be landing at the hot drop POIs and pretty much just trying to switch up your drop spot every single game unless you're actually dedicated to doing well in the cash cup. This means that it's going to be more variable and tough to predict players rotation paths, who they W key, how they play, if they play passive, if they play aggressive, which in turn results in the overarching point of a cash cup play style. That means that there's going to be the least amount of preparation that you can possibly do. Cash cups are tough to prepare for. You really just need to be a good fighter you need to be able to adjust to different situations depending on where the zone moves where players are trying to fight all these different factors are crucial and like i said because it's so easy to get into these cash cups and it's also so easy to actually play them and adjust to the different ways of playing the game that means that the cash cups are going to tend to be less competitive than the fncs so the play style for cash cups overall is going to be a more fast paced more w key oriented more risky play style in which there's going to be stuff that's tough to predict that's why doing well in cash cups consistently is a struggle for some people now guys, let's move on to the FNCS playstyle. Now for FNCS, it's oftentimes going to be pretty well prepared players. Almost always you're going to see an FNCS team having a set drop spot, having a set rotation, knowing how to rotate, knowing the fundamentals of competitive Fortnite. It's going to be consistent playstyles. For example, let's say the first three games you want to W key, and then the last seven, you guys want to try to play passive. That is a playstyle. I'm not saying it's a good playstyle. However, that is definitely a playstyle that you can stick to. There's going to be W key in passive games, which means that certain games when you guys are lower on points, you're going to wait for the lobby to queue up and then you're going to ready up and then you're going to go into these games and try to get as many eliminations as you can in order to catch up with the standard point threshold. There's also going to be passive games in which you decide, hey, listen, we're pretty high on points. We just want to try to ride out this game, win and get a lot of placement points. This is why we're going to play passive. However, players tend to take less risks in FNCS. Now, obviously guys, in the cash cups, people will land at random POIs. People will hot drop, they'll do crazy things. Since the required rank of FNCS is going to be platinum, you guys obviously understand that this is going to be a slightly more competitive tournament. Not way more competitive, except it's still going to be a lot more prepared players in this. Players are going to be tending to take less risks regarding rotations, different eliminations. People are going to be taking less fights, which results in the lobbies being more stacked. And since the lobbies are more stacked, guys, you're going to need to know your fundamentals. You're going to need to know how to land off spawn. You're going to need to know how to try and get surge in the early game. On top of that, you're also going to need to know how to rotate throughout the mid game, go into the late game, find a place to base up, get refreshes when you need them, and ultimately win and pop off in the game, getting both placement and elimination points, and if you guys want to really qualify. The FNCS playstyle is a lot more complicated. It is a thing you have to actually practice and learn. However, in comparison to the cash cup playstyle, the biggest differences are obviously going to be the amount of people in these games and the skill tier of them. If I were to summarize the FNCS playstyle in one or two sentences, this is what I would say. 
It's on average going to be well-prepared players, people who know where they're landing, know how to fight and know how to play. But obviously there's going to be some weak links. There's going to be teams that you guys can beat as long as you're a mediocre competitive player. The open rounds are going to be lower level amateurs. And then as you get into the harder and harder rounds, yes, there's going to be better and eventually pro players. But that's how I'd summarize the FNCS play style. Now let's get into how to transition between the two. So let's say you guys are at the cash cup playstyle level, you guys are landing in the cash cups, you're doing okay, you're maybe getting top 2,000, top 1,000. If you guys want to transition to actually doing well in FNCS if you have been struggling in the past, there's three things that I'd recommend you guys start with. The first thing guys is watch pro players. Watch how pro players specifically play open rounds if you guys are transitioning from the cash cup playstyle to the FNCS playstyle. Your first goal should be to qualify through the open round into the quarterfinals. Once you guys have set your mind to that goal, you need to watch pro players, understand how they are able to qualify through these opening rounds so easily. And I'd recommend you even try VOD reviewing them. That's the second thing. VOD review yourself, VOD review pro players, VOD review anybody you really can if you guys want to improve. And then the third thing really is for you guys to scrim. Scrimming is really important. It's how you actually practice the skills that you learned. Like I said, fundamentals of competitive are crucial for FNCS. NCS players. You need to take it very seriously. It's an important thing that you guys are able to scrim, apply the stuff you've learned from VOD reviewing and the overall concepts you guys have learned. Implement that into your game and see how it works with you and your duo. That's the overall way to transition from that FNCS playstyle over to that cash cup playstyle. If you want to do well in FNCS, you need to get good at those things. You need to get good at watching pros, having a game plan, and making that through VOD reviewing and review of pros and then overall applying that in scrims and then eventually applying it in competitive. What's important guys, is that you make sure you actually do this consistently because the more consistent you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. Now guys, let's say this is gonna be a rare circumstance, but let's say you're doing well in FNCSs, but you seem to struggle in cash cups. Let's say you're more of a passive player, you're not very good at taking too many fights and you're getting W keyed and eliminated a lot of times in the middle of these cash cup games. What I'd recommend you guys do seriously is hit the zone wars hit the box fights, play realistics, try to actually practice your fighting, get really good at it, because if you guys get really good at fighting, not only will your cash cup playstyle improve and you guys will react better to spontaneous fights, your FNCS playstyle will also improve and eventually you're going to get to that level where you're able to win pretty much every fight you take in every single game mode you play. That's the best way I'd recommend you guys transition from the two. You can either be a cash cup warrior or an FNCS qualifier. You can also be both at the same time. That's what most of the pro players are, but you need to focus on actually balancing these two things and changing your mindset every time you approach one of these new tournaments. Guys, I did enjoy making this video. I think it's a little bit of a different way to actually look at the competitive tournaments and all the different options we have now for how to play them. Cash Cups and FNCS are both really important. I think you guys need to take both of them very seriously. But obviously, if you want to compare the W key, more aggressive player style of Cash Cups, or if you want to compare the more passive, well-prepared, knowledgeable play style of FNCS, it's really important to know how to switch back between the two and how to balance the two in each different tournament that you guys play. That is about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.